Hey my friends and family, welcome back to another Christmas episode. So after I posted my last Christmas cake, some persons were still saying that they weren't confident enough to bake it. So today I have a quick and simple way for you guys. This is a Christmas cake hack. So I baked this at one of my birthday party two years ago and no one at the party knew that this wasn't the authentic cake. Alright, so you're going to start off by creaming two sticks of butter. And you're not going to add any sugar. You're just going to cream the butter until it's nice and soft. And I'm using room temperature butter. While the butter is creaming, you want to go ahead and prepare your baking pans. I brought these parchment paper that is already cut out for a different pan size at um, Amazon. So it's quick and easy, especially for those persons who are rushing in the kitchen. and <laughs> You can't get an accurate cut out just like myself. This is perfect for you and they're not expensive. All right, so now I am going to grease both pans and then I already have my oven preheating at 350 degrees. So right here I have four eggs and one teaspoon of grated orange zest. I'm just going to mix that in and then I'm going to add a tablespoon of vanilla and a teaspoon of almond essence. So we're just going to combine this and set it aside. I'm also going to be using one cup of mixed fruits. This fruit is um, already blended and it's one cup of blended mixed fruits. So now for the dry ingredient, this is the easy part. You don't need any baking powder or worrying about any measurement. We have one white cake mix and we also have a vanilla pudding mix. All right. You can add your spices, different spices, the nutmeg, your cinnamon, and also your mixed spice we're just going to combine all of that in there you don't need any salt so there's no salt no sugar because we're using the cake mix and we're using the white cake mix instead of using a yellow cake mix which is going to contrast the color of your cake all right so i'm adding a teaspoon of cinnamon powder a teaspoon of nutmeg and i'm using a half teaspoon of mixed spice you can use your grated nutmeg or you can use the powdered one if you want all depending on you so we're just going to add in all our spices mix that up and another easy part is you don't have to worry about waiting forever for the butter and the sugar to cream the butter is already cream by itself because that's easy and it was room temperature and I'm just going to dump everything in the mixer and mix one mix so it's quick and easy for those who are worrying about being able to bake a christmas cake no problem i got you all right so i'm adding all my ingredients all at once in the mixer so the cake mix that i use it calls for one and a quarter cup of water i'm just gonna add one cup because i have other liquid components that it's gonna go in here such as my rum and wine and also the blended fruits so I'm adding all my dry ingredients and then I'm going to add some rum and wine later. Please excuse my hoarseness. It's just a result of going out in the cold the other night. Also, I wanted to make this video for you, so please bear with me. So now I'm going to add my rum and wine. I'm going to add a quarter cup of the rum and a quarter cup of the wine. Don't worry, guys. Most of the alcohol is going to evaporate while it's baking. So for the browning, as I said in my last video, you have to be careful when you're adding your browning. So what I'm going to do is add a tablespoon at a time, all right, until I have my desired color. So after adding my rum and wine, I'm just going to add one tablespoon of the browning. After adding one tablespoon of the browning, it did look kind of like a light brown color. So I added another tablespoon of browning and that was it. If you want your cake to be like really black, then you could probably go in with another tablespoon. But two tablespoons was enough for me to get a nice color. So remember, this is not for the professional bakers. If you can bake your Christmas cake from scratch, that's fine. All right. This is just a hack for the persons who are having issues with measuring out the flour and the sugar and the baking powder and all of that. This is just an easy way for them. Or even if a young person um, see this video and might find it useful, that's fine. But please do not 
use this and sell your cake unless the, your customer knows that this is a cake mix all right so in everything we're doing we have to be honest so every cake mix come with instruction so you'll have the, you'll see the time on your cake box of how long to bake this depending on the size cake for an eight inch cake it will take up to 45 minutes just a quick commercial for myself i have some merchandise selling you can just purchase one of them they're pretty affordable and you can go on www.skillstrap.com and purchase any one of my t-shirt a mug a bag anything that you like just to support my channel i would really really appreciate it all right so go ahead and check it out i'm using an eight and a half inch cake tin and in 45 minutes my cakes were ready as you can see it cracked so if you're gonna bake it make sure you put your oven down to at least 300 mine was at 350 according to the instruction on my cake box but i think that there was too much heat in the oven and that caused them to crack so after spraying them down with your roman wine the more it cools the more the cracks will heal up so that's the least so i'm just gonna cut a slice to show you how moist the cake is so Venetia Robinson makeup herself, you were one of the persons who were saying that I still don't know how to make it. I, I, I'm still not confident. So I hope you find this video useful. You and other persons will find this video useful. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a joyous and blessed Christmas holiday. Thank you all so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel as yet.